Okay, so another lesson here. This time, a champion that people have not seen in a very long time. It's Shen top lane versus a champion that people hate, well, a love to hate. And that is Teemo. So Shen versus Teemo top lane. Um, Shen, being a team player, has his ult and a teleport. Teemo rocking an ignite. So it could make it hard to 1v1 in lane. Teemo is just really annoying as well. Um, the rating of this game, it was in promotion matches. I'll have the rating underneath in YouTube um, in the description once I get this video updated, or uploaded, sorry. Um, but uh, I think it's low gold ish MMR. Like I said, hard to tell since in promotions. But picture this as like low gold ish area, and then I'll have the exact um, later on. So, Shen's up top here, waiting in this bush. Uh, if his team is invading, they have a really good invade team with um, Vi. Doesn't really want to start Q. Doesn't really have to if they have Annie, Thresh. Um, if he starts Taunt, kind of puts him down in lane. An invade with a Shen Taunt can, and a Thresh Flay or Hook or whatnot can usually get a kill. And... Um, if the team's not going for it, obviously you don't have to. Um, but he's standing there. At least he's doing something. Too many people just come and stand on top of their tower, and that really leads to nothing. That ward, though. That ward. That ward won't be up until about 2.05. It's not going to show Teemo if he's AFK in the bush because he has his passive. Um, it's a really, really rough ward. Um, every single time uh, he can get in range, he should be trying to Q Teemo. Or at the very least, uh, try and get minions with it. So, he hasn't missed any minions yet, but um, right here, he's not going to be able to get into those back minion waves. I would try and get that minion right there with a Q, because it's about to die. There you go. Hey, he did exactly what I thought he would, or hoped he would. Um, going in for the minions while Teemo is going to be able to lay fire onto you, kind of hard. Teemo's playing this really defensively, um, so you can, you can get a shield second if you're just planning on farming it out for the most part, or you can get the taunt if you think you're going to be able to taunt them onto the minion wave, because they actually do less damage when they're taunted as well, and when you taunt someone on your minion wave, uh, preferably, not their minion wave, if at all avoidable, they'll draw minion aggro by having to be forced to auto attack you, so not only are they doing less damage to you, but they've drawn minion aggro, you're beating on them, there's just so many good things that are happening with it. Also really easy to set up a gank that way. Um, but for the most part, this should be free farm for Shen, because Teemo's not doing anything to harass it. Uh, that minion should be able to get picked up right as the tower goes. So that's good. Uh, but I did notice he missed a few minions when Teemo wasn't putting on any pressure. Um, if at all avoidable... Oh, see, that, that taunt right there, bit of a... bit of a ham sandy taunt, uh, in my opinion, because... It was onto a gigantic wave of minions, he lost the trade anyway, and didn't have his shield because he leveled up his Q to level 2. That'll make him harass better with it, be more reliable for farming, but I would rather just have my shield at level 3, at one level into each. Since it's basically free anyway, you regenerate the energy, but it will save you a lot of damage. I also don't agree with, I'll say right now, the flask start on Shen. The flask start on Shen, not the greatest thing in the entire world. Mana thing, completely wasted. If you were going to start with um, a lot of health potions, much better in my opinion to go Claw 5. Uh, you could even go Boots 4, or Boots 5 if you wait out some um, time, because you get to lane faster with the Boots. Uh, Doran Shield is a viable start on, option on Shen. So he did really well there, um, in that trade. Uh, I don't know if he used his shield to block any damage, but it did, it did do pretty well. I should probably turn off the Fog of War here. Looks like that's a kill on Teemo, more than likely. Uh, no? Does Vi not have flash? Oh, Vi just didn't want to kill Teemo. That was, a, that was an easy flash kill. But they probably both would have had the flash, so maybe being conservative on it's not the worst. Teemo's in a really rough spot right now. His item is Doran's ring start. Um, maybe? No, that blind. Q? Q? Alright, they traded. Um, that's actually going to work out in his favor. I don't think the flash was necessary. I think hitting one or two more Qs first, because the wave wasn't pushing up right away. But, unfortunately, Poppy, in the right place at the right time, gets all of that farm. But Teemo just lost the tank minion wave and, like, two and a half more waves of farm. So, Shen's sitting on 19 CS, Teemo's sitting on 6. And 
That's not necessarily anything that Shen was doing proper in lane until he killed him, because it was just a gigantic ball of minions pushing towards Teemo that Teemo would have had the chance to farm within just a couple seconds. Um, so he got a Crystalline Bracer, so that's a lot of extra health and the base health regen, of course. Against the Teemo on Shen, I think I would probably go with a... Um, Teemo's going AP, assumedly, just based on his items. I would probably go with the... Um, trying to think of the word. Spectre's Cow, because then it gives you more regen when he's hitting you. Um, eventually, if you get like enough MR, it's just it's not going to be able to hurt you. They have a LeBlanc on their team, and it'll make your eventual Warmogs, if that's your path, uh, a little stronger. Uh, Sunfire as well, real strong item on Shen. Even against Teemo, who's going to be building more AP, just get like a piece of a uh, magic resist. And the Sunfire, you don't even have to be doing that much damage. If you're blinded, it doesn't matter. You kind of just stand on them, and they can't out DPS your, your tankiness. I... I... I like the Zealous play. I don't agree with going in on that many minions. Even though Teemo's not doing that much damage, you are hitting him on the minion wave, taking one hit from all of those minions at least. Dipping into the bush was the right idea to drop the aggro, but really, really painful um, to tank that much damage. If Teemo was not here, I would be definitely turning on the shield right now and autoing with the shield on while you're not getting harassed at all, because it'll charge up your passive, making it a lot easier to farm under tower right now. Uh, Shen is level 6, so he can be looking to ult at any time, and by any time I mean he can ult literally on top of Teemo, and the Teemo can't stop him. There's no interruption um, there. Obviously, if at all available, try and hide in the bush so that you're not taking a bunch of darts in the back of the head. Uh, let's speed this up a little bit. Uh, he's just farming, kind of just balling up a minion wave, I'm trying to keep Teemo off of it. This might have been biting off more than he can chew. What are his cooldowns at? He has a shield up here. So he's actually going to get away with that. And that's not the worst. Because right here... Um, he's running a potion right now. So he has that regen. He has his, uh, his crystalline bracer. Teemo really has no way to get that health back. He came into lane with no potion. So not the worst trade. Although now that it's pushed up to the tower, Shin's not going to be able to really do anything. Unless, what he could do here, walk up to the tower, shield so that he blocks a little bit, and let Teemo hit him on that minion wave. That'll leash the entire minion wave. He's really squishy. Um, and then if it was available, well, Teemo's tanking that entire minion wave. Lots of times people don't notice they're tanking that entire minion wave. There's a Shen ult on. I'm just going to rewind it because I was talking about stuff. We'll go back to this. Look at this. this. He could probably hit him with a Q, hit him with his passive shield probably already down, and then taunt to get off the tower, taunting Teemo preferably to do a little bit of extra damage and pull him into that minion wave probably would have ended up in a kill. Um, he's gone back here. Looks like he's ulting. It's actually a really good ult save. A um, little bit lower health than I'm sure he wanted to go in with. He autoed a minion there with his passive up, which could have probably helped out on this Leona kill. This is close. <laughs> if that was a zap, he probably would have had a bad time. Um, but overall, that worked. There's not really any way that he could have waited for that ult either, because he couldn't go back and heal. However, I think... Obviously, that ult wouldn't have been an opportunity there, but a lot of the times, you're not going to be able to rely on that ult. Um, unnecessary teleport. And what I, what I meant by uh, rely on the ult is you're not going to... Um, be able to know that that's going to be an opportunity right away, whereas he probably could have harassed him a little bit. He's going to be able to freeze it in front of his tower because of that teleport, but if you look at it, his minions haven't, or Teemo's minions haven't shot Shen once, and they were still frozen there because that wave got back there in time. That just comes from reading the minions and seeing. Also, Shen has boots. He could have walked back to lane in time. Had that teleport up, if he ends up getting knocked out of lane, unlikely at this point with how tanky he is. However, he had that teleport to go back bot lane right away, or anywhere else right away, with his ult still down and probably catch someone off guard. Dragon is still on the board as well, so it would be nice to have that global for that. So he's freezing it on the tower, which is smart. I'm not sure if he's pinged that, his, uh, that Teemo is missing. Um, that ward in that bush is nice for lane ganked, or getting lane ganked, but against... It's a wizard. Um, against 
a Teemo, his passive keeps him stealthed anyway. If he's waiting in that bush, it's like, it's really whatever. I guess you could see him Teemo stealth if he went in stealth in that bush and then taunt him out of his stealth. But I would, if anything, put it in the back two bushes to know that you're getting lane ganked before it's actually happening. Because he could be getting lane ganked right now, but he could be waiting in that bush and he would never know. Teemo's at the point where he's just so, so squishy and he can't hurt Shen. Shen has a little bit of sustain through his regen as well as his Q, obviously. But Teemo can't stop Shen from farming. Shen's job in this lane is to, if, this, if it's available, I'm surprised that Mushroom didn't proc, he's gonna get the kill here. Yeah, just go on Teemo right there, but more than anything, just farm, just keep farming. Um, the enemy team got the dragon, so there's no ward on it. Uh, but you gotta look where Teemo's dying. There's no way for Teemo to be getting this farm. Shen's playing it well. Teemo's playing it really awkwardly because all of this farm is pushing up and he's gonna lose it all to his tower anyway. Um, the Warmox first on Shen works really well with AP champions. On lots of tanky champions, the Warmox first works really well because they're not able to have any mana left. Even Teemo, who doesn't use that much mana but his blinding dart does, have any mana left after taking down that entire huge health pool. So he's got the war mugs. But the persistent, like I said earlier, the sunfire, the persistent damage you get from that that's not included in your kit's really nice. The only problem with the sunfire is it doesn't let you push towers because all the enemy has to do is stand on you and you'll tank the tower right away. But there's there's nothing Shen has to worry about here. He's completely fine. What he should have done probably is frozen the lane right there. He has his shield and he has a lot of regen for the damage that the minions would have done to him. Freeze it in front of the tower and then you can freeze it there indefinitely. Teemo can't do anything when he's behind, especially with that ignite. He's completely useless. He can go put mushrooms elsewhere. But when you're stronger than your lane opponent as Shen and you can freeze it there so that they can't get any farm, the only thing left for your lane opponent to do is go and roam. If they roam, you just ult whoever hits roamed to, and then Teemo's shit out of luck. And if they don't roam anywhere and they just wait for you to push it, you could freeze it there almost indefinitely if needed. And see, this is the, um... This is the, uh... The typical... I'm ulting right in front of Teemo because there's nothing he can do about it. Teleport not always necessary on Shen. You can take an aggressive summoner with your ult. Well, that LeBlanc got destroyed. Um, but his teleport is up. So even if he freezes in front of the tower, ults away, Teemo opts in for the I'm going to split push instead of going um, to help. I'm finally getting some free farm and whatnot. I'm going to stay in lane. This Teemo wants to get beat down. Um, Shen can teleport back top after using his ult to save his tower. Mushrooms are starting to stack up, but like I said, if Teemo's not able to finish him off, he's going to have a lot of health regen in the second here. Okay, so... I'll just speed it up here. So he's just farming. Oh, that poor Teemo. It's a good kill on Teemo. He's going to miss a lot more here. He's, he's just getting destroyed. Um, as far as that kill, it's demoralizing to Teemo and the enemy team. But it might not have been worth Shen blowing his flash for. I'm not saying that I wouldn't have done the exact same thing. Like, I love killing Teemo. But he doesn't have that flash for a flash initiate with a flash Shen taunt. Super huge in fights. So that's five minutes of nothing, not having that. And um, I would have been pushing the lane up faster there, just autoing consistently, trying to get as many minions as I can. No, obviously not, just... Oh boy. Where did it go? There we go. Screen went... Screen went black! Well, Shen ulted. Anyway, Shen ulted down bot. Uh, sorry, he didn't ult, he teleported. And, um, it ended up being a teleport into blindness. You gotta... Gotta be scared. Mid lane was missing. It was the right idea, his heart was in the right place. However, um... Graves was really too low to follow up. They knew their jungler was back, so the most it could have been was a 3v however many were there. Teemo's not going to be there, but it could have been 4 there, and it was 4 there. And they ended up just getting plowed by everything. Um, where's Shen here? What does Shen have now? So weird seeing that flask. Don't agree with it at all. I do agree with the Spectre's Kalbi. Probably going into a Spirit Visage, so he's going to be pretty much immune to magic damage and be just a, a huge frontline target. The issue with Shen 
is he can bully a lot early, but as the game goes on, he's more reliant on his teammates' damage than his own to be able to carry him through stuff. He can help them and support them, heal for them, and shield for them, but he's not going to be able to do all that much if if they get behind. That's why I like the Sunfire as well as Insurance. If uh, Even if you're the last one standing, you can sometimes clean up because they're not able to out-DPS uh, the Sunfire damage uh, while you're being super tanky at the same time. So Sen's just pushing. Is well, look how slow he pushes. Super, super slow. He's ganking his own lane by the looks of it. Teemo just, Teemo just asking for it. Teemo, look, these flashes, these flashes. All right, standing on that mushroom right there are probably honestly better so that his minions don't hit it so he can push up. So with the Sunfire, he couldn't push onto the tower like I said because he was a turret aggro. But it's just painful watching a no damage item Shen, which is typically the normal Shen unless you go in Trinity for it. But a no damage item Shen push up a minion wave. It's just, it's so slow. The enemy team snuck another dragon as well. You should be pegging him with Qs as much as possible. There we go. Unfortunately, when he's blind, he can't get any minions. Should have a ward. Um, a little deeper. That ward, It's a ward. It's the right idea, but a little deeper. By the time that someone walks over that ward, he might be in trouble. I mean, he's probably not going to be in any trouble. He's, he's tanky as hell. Just kind of... Should have queued him right there while he got in. Kind of slow pushing up the lane. I'm falling asleep here. <laughs> so another reason I don't play Shen. Nothing against Shen, but I just find his play style boy. She's dead as well. And it was nice of him not to take the lantern with Vi being right there. Overall, he's doing what he needs to be doing on Shen. Teemo is playing the lane really poorly, getting bullied a lot. Um, once he fell that far behind, it's really hard for him to do anything, and he's putting himself in the positions. The Teemo, not the Shen, sorry. He's putting himself in the positions that it's really hard for him to do anything. That he could be avoiding and just waiting to farm on the tower. And then Shen's taking advantage and capitalizing on those quite well. Nice choice to escape that way for the Blanc. Might. I don't think that flash was necessary. I think if he just kept hugging the wall, he would have missed that. But don't want to die there. Um... What's his item? Now I'm assuming he's going to be going for a Spirit Visage. Cappy's also really strong on Shen. If you don't need the Merc Treads, of course. Probably does. I, I'd probably go Merc Treads against Leona, honestly. It's a lot of CC. Um, as far as physical damage on their team, I guess Jinx is going to do some consistent physical damage, but don't think the Tabbies were overly necessary, but other boots do sometimes feel like a waste. So he's pushing up the lane here. Definitely would be wanting a Sunfire right now to apply that consistent pressure. Like, if you're not pushing fast, you're less of a threat. And you want to be pushing it as fast as you can, especially if you're trying to help out your team a lot. You're really strong. You want to be having a presence in fights. There we go. Um, whenever I speed it up, that's when the ult comes in. All right. So what's happening here? Shen ults Thresh. Very surprising that Shen actually ends up getting in, that Leona wasn't able to kill him right there. But he's just in the middle of everything here. And there's just nothing the enemy can do. Because they can't turn and fight him. He's just too tanky. He, he needs to be not... Like, right here, he's just... He could have went on to Jinx right there. Not that it would really matter. They still won anyway. But it's usually less than optimal to stand there hitting a poppy who has ulted a different target. And that might have just been confusion. Maybe he thought that a poppy ulted him. So they got an ace there. That teleport, though, very unnecessary. I would be saving that teleport. If you're dedicating that much time, if you're playing Shen in the first place, you're wanting to help your team. Teleport it to a minion there, so it's going to be a little bit of a longer cooldown. And he's probably, like, he might get the tower just if no one's in position, but I would have assumed that someone would be there to get it anyway, because look how slow this push is still. 
Oh, jeez. Not gonna be able to get there before the minion wave gets there. So he's gonna have to push it. It's a cannon mate wave as well. So if he had a sunfire, he'd be standing in all these minions to death. But this is one of the painful things about Shen. Just no wave player to speak of. So he has the roam potential, but he ends up losing a lot of towers against a lot of uh, laners just because he can't push it out before he goes. But it looks like no one's coming to get him. He has a Spirit Visage now, so he has a ton of health. A lot of magic resistance as well with that Spirit Visage, a lot of health regen. And now he has a Chain Vest on top of that health pool. So he's getting to the, like, the realm of unkillable. And if the enemy team was a little bit stronger, he'd be in the realm of ignorable. Because he doesn't have anything to kind of make them have to worry about killing him quicker. He does a little bit of burst damage here and there. But Jinx will still be able to life steal off him because he doesn't have that much armor. I guess he does kind of have a little bit, but no Sunfire and no Thorn Mail. That burst onto Teemo. Teemo's just really, really not caring about his flash cooldown at all. Okay, so we're going to fast forward this. This is Shen pushing the lane. So they're kind of just doing the same thing. And holy shit. Well, red team's doing well. Okay, so they got the dragon. Shen teleports in because this is an opening. Ends up saving Vi. That almost looked like it was even, not, wasn't even a necessary teleport, but I mean, you're playing Shen. You might as well teleport and get the assist, help out. He might be able to um, pick up a tower here, possibly. Their whole team's really dead. But he's turning into like this huge frontline monster, and his team is doing well as well, so all he has to do is peel, CC. Teemo very... I'm not sure... Teemo needs to really tone it down. He's playing so aggressive that he has to flash. Oh, he's playing like he has his flash still afterwards, and Shen's getting a huge advantage out of that, so it's, it's really good that he's playing off that. Would have done a lot more damage with like a... Not necessarily a thorn mail, but just a sunfire right now. And he can still get a sunfire, I just like to get it earlier. I think it's a lot more effective. I don't think he realized he hit that mushroom, or maybe he's waiting. And there's Teemo. So, he took a lot of damage there, but still nothing they can enemy team can really do. Teemo's build is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Nasher's rush? Chain vest. Doesn't even make sense. Shen does mostly magic damage. So Shen was waiting for an ult there. Um, I'm assuming he ulted Graves. I actually want to go back and look. Yeah, he ulted Graves and then Graves died, so the Shen ult is down. Now they have to wait forever and ever and ever, but that's fine. Shen's going to do Shen things over here. He has his Sunfire now, which is good, and I don't think it's the worst item to buy even this late into the game. I definitely would have went for it earlier, especially when you're ahead, because the stand on them to death, of the, the just being able to stand there on them makes the item a lot better. It, Like I said a couple times before, it's hard to split push or push towers with the Sunfire because the tower's just going to focus you, but he can just kill Teemo at this point. He's, there's no threat of them trying to stop him. And if he bites them off tower, it's going to be really hard for them to do anything. Unless all five of them come, I guess. Yeah, he's dead. R.I.P. Kind of not much you could do there, unless, unless you had a ward there before. That's just kind of a hindsight 2020. 2020, maybe I should have warded type of deal. So he's still dead, dead. Up in three... Doesn't have his alt up yet. Still on a 40 second cooldown from the time it got interrupted, but he does have a teleport. At this point, he's kind of just keeping an eye on the map, and he should just be looking to try and farm. And there's a teleport opportunity. Looks like it was kind of forced. Keep in mind, even if you don't have the most damage in the entire world, you don't have to force plays with your teleport. Wait for the enemy to force plays and put themselves into a bad position, because if they're not in a bad position to start, sometimes you can't follow up on the teleport play. Or they can't. Just because the enemy is going to be able to run away from it, right? 
Um, and if you're just getting uncontested time alone in a lane, that's only getting you stronger. Like, look how much uncontested time Shen's had this game. What? How close is he? He's almost level 16. Teemo's considering hitting level 13. So, even if you're not like the split pusher or the huge carry, getting free farm time is going to make you stronger regardless. So they're kind of just pushing down this tower here. He's tanking it, which isn't a problem, but his team wasn't able to get into a safe position there. Should probably just back out because Vi's not there. Shen's level 16 here. He doesn't have an upgraded trinket. For how much of a team player he's trying to be, I definitely would have bought an upgraded trinket. Wow. Definitely would have bought an upgraded trinket just because it's so cheap. And the more people that have the upgraded trinket, the more advantages you have. Like, it's a thing that I need to be working on a lot more to buy and use a lot early. I I wouldn't be waiting in this bush to get a kill. You're not like a super huge burst mage. I mean, I guess I guess Teemo actually would have died there, but um, he missed a lot of farm. You gotta keep in mind how much is Teemo even worth at this point. This farm's probably worth a little bit more. Um, gotta time the the kills with your Sunfire though. You gotta make sure that you're not accidentally getting them super low and not getting them kill with your Sunfire or your autos and giving it to your minions at that point. It's another just kind of keeping in mind that he has a Sunfire. Okay, so they're getting the looks like their first dragon. And at this point, Shen can just keep splitting. They have to send their whole team to kill Shen, and it's at that point it still takes a long time. Um, I would probably be a little bit more conservative with the uh, with the dashes here, it's especially based on the fact that he has no wards. I'd buy a ward by now. Especially he could have had that warding stone. Um, another thing, just because we're looking to like win more, the red team is just winning really hard. It's not all Shen, but he's able to support it, and he's just able to kill a lot of people. I don't see a single pink ward on the map for the winning team. The losing team has more pink wards than the winning team. Okay, never mind, there's a pink ward right there. Okay, that's the only pink ward I see. It's a 100 gold investment that if you have this much map control, it gives you even more map control. It, it blocks out their control while giving you a permanent ward that is very, very easy to defend if you're this far ahead. You can do aggressively front forward uh, pink wards. And this, this team, I was just never in the right place. This poor, poor little rat. Um, kind of looks like they're just um, pushing down everything. They got the mid inhib. He's just continuing to push top. Uh, that last outer turret is ball lane, but I mean... The block's chasing Shen. She actually might get him, unless she misses everything. But, even here, he's almost unkillable. If he ends up dying, he dies. But, meanwhile in their base, his team is just killing everybody. LeBlanc's still chasing Shen. This is kind of like the hero play that doesn't translate to paper. It doesn't have distracted enemy players for X amount of time. Unfortunately, he died there. Um, but look at their base. They lost the base tower. They almost lost the second base tower. They almost lost the Teemo. Uh, they lost the bottom tower there. They lost the bottom inhib tower. Bottom inhib's exposed. So just by being that tanky, LeBlanc kind of just got baited to chase him around. But still helping the team out even when he's not there. And when he spawns, he should have his ult up. It's really nice to split with the ult, but at this point, there's one inhib left on the map. The only splitting he can possibly do is either going for that inhib while his team does Baron, or going and pressuring a lane with super minions while his team does Baron. It'd be better for him to just stay with the team. There's no uh, minimum range you have to be away for the ultimate to go off. A lot of people forget that with Shen. So you can still group up and still use that ultimate. Even if it gets interrupted when you're there, it still gives that shield. And it doesn't really matter if it gets interrupted because you're already there. So. Not being able to kill each other, but they're just killing Dragon anyway. Or Baron, sorry. And Leon is getting pushed back. It looks like the enemy team is just going to get pushed back into their base. Still annoying them. Still pushing them back. They got the Baron. It's looking pretty hopeless for the enemy team. Shen's almost unkillable. And just an unlimited stream of crowd control. Oh, why were we watching this in slow motion? Damn, that was cool. And 
LeBlanc, oh, LeBlanc with the, the swag bait there, but it's a little too little too late. Looks like they're just gonna death march into the base. Five's also very tanky. Shen can kind of just dive in and do whatever he wants. If his team doesn't follow up, he can just walk away. But overall, um, overall that game was played pretty well. There's very few things to try and pick up on. Looks like their Nexus, yeah, their Nexus is gone. The Teemo was very generous on the amount of openings he was wanting to give Shen that game. But um, good harassment in lane, maybe be a little bit more conservative with the flash, especially that one flash taunt that I think you could have just walked up and taunted him anyway. Um, considering if you're that far ahead and you're wanting to push and stuff, or get farm before you teleport away, or just be a threat um, more than with just your cooldowns. The Sunfire was really nice early, although it takes away from that being able to push, but in that game, that wasn't really an issue. Timo was always dead or dying before you even were able to get onto the tower anyway. Um, the alts were really well looked for. Um, like, almost every time it was needed, there was an alt going off. The teleports, on the other hand, although they weren't necessary to use in a team fight, don't just blow them to teleport to a minion wave that you're not even missing that much from. Save it for just a secondary thing. You've already helped your team with the ult. Now make sure they don't screw it up by saving the teleport to come and help them again. Or if you're going to teleport to get minions, um, if that's the best thing you can be doing, make sure you just to go to a t uh, tower if you don't need to teleport to a minion wave. If there's not like a strategy you're trying to do by specifically teleporting to that minion wave, um, have it off cooldown a little bit more. Um, wouldn't be bad. Uh, especially on Shen, you don't really gain any benefit from the other boots. Home guard, maybe. But you can get distortion boots. It'll let you do a flash taunt initiation, which is excessively strong, and it'll let you teleport uh, a lot more often with those distortion boots early. Um, not necessarily sure. The tabbies, it didn't really matter. They probably didn't need to go tabbies, but it's whatever. Um, but the number one thing... Uh, was when you were splitting you weren't warding that well and it didn't really matter for the most part except when you got five man gang banged and your team your team didn't really get anything off of it because they weren't in a position to and that that was obvious there so it wasn't really their fault or anything but it could have been completely avoided by warding as well as by warding in the jungle there it can get them more picks and another thing that would make all of that a lot easier either getting more wards or vision control um, buying pink wards throughout the game especially when you're that far ahead because they're very easy to defend not only do they give you vision consistently and constantly and block out enemy vision but they're a good start for a fight if the enemy team's clearing those pink wards you can bait them into fighting out where they don't want to be by thinking that they're gaining an advantage by clearing those wards if you're able to make it a trap and uh, upgrading the trinket as well upgrading the trinket would have helped out a lot but all in all the shen mechanics definitely definitely know how to play shen um and the the alt uh the keeping an eye on the minimap for the alt was very well done um, oh, and the one other thing. Try to get more farm in lane. Um, there, There's a couple that were missed, and I'm not saying I'm the perfect... I miss so much farm in lane, and I want to puke every time I do, but it's just another thing that I can point out that the more things to work on, the better. But overall, really good game. Um, I'm not even going to bother trying to say that name, <laughs> but thank you very much. That That's the name right there. It's, it's right there. I just... I, just, I don't want to embarrass myself on video. Um... Thank you for letting us do that lesson. Uh, like I said earlier, I'll have the um, exact uh, rating in uh, the description below the video. Just don't have it at the current time for putting it in the video. Um, and we'll be doing another lesson right away here from this same player whose name that I don't want to dare say or try to say. It's probably really easy for a lot of people and I look pretty stupid right now anyway. But I'd look even dumber if I tried to say it and screwed it up. So thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for letting us do that lesson. And hopefully we'll see you next time.